Uh, good morning. My name is uh, Muhammad Ahmed Gain. I, uh, I am a university professor and I'm also the president of the African Institute for uh, Peace Building and Conflict Transformation. I am really happy to participate with you in these debates uh, on, on the Sahara and I will be focusing uh, mainly on two to three lead questions related to the development of the uh, Sahara conflict. Uh, while the international community shows a, a growing realistic understanding of the intricacies or the dynamics of the Sahara conflict, uh, which of course justifies this unwavering commitment to the UN, together with the international community, to broker a solution based on compromise, on realism and also on sustainability, the, the, the Polisario still shows intransigence by unjustifiably clinging to eroded discourses based on uh, flawed uh, interpretations of the uh, right to self-determination principle. Uh, this principle cannot go necessarily through a referendum mechanism, especially in the case of the of the Sahara. Self determination should find a place for to to, to everyone with a, a kind of reconciliatory spirit and a, a peace oriented process. Uh, if we look at the regional context, we are living in an unstable regional context that renders implausible the demand for secession from Morocco and privileges an autonomy framework that ensures the right to self-determination but with security with good governance in the management of local affairs, with an equitable distribution of wealth. Uh, and these are the priorities of the, uh, the uh, autonomy plan proposed by, by Morocco. However, I, I really find myself adhering to the position of those who uh, argue and believe that um, the Sahara conflict is more than just principled uh, uh, positions of Algeria regarding the, the, self the right to self-determination. This conflict is uh, about uh, 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 the uh, um, uh, geopolitical uh, interests interests cloaked and there as i said the these these uh, uh, speeches that uh, claim or allege that they are supporting uh, the, the right to self determination and this has been established by facts the same as it has been uh, evidenced by the, uh, the huge lit literature and the research uh, undertaken by by uh, or conducted by uh, experts in the field here I think we should ask a question that may help us understand I mean the, 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 the Sahara conflict. Uh, how would this conflict have evolved without Algeria's influence and involvement? As everyone knows, Algeria hides behind, as I said, hide, they hide behind the mask of supporting the principle of self-determination but they seem at the same time to instrumentalize the conflict in the Sahara to embellish the image of a regime, a, a long-standing uh, regime in, 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 in Algeria. Uh, so embellishing the image of this regime at the international level as a promoter of rights of peoples is one of the, uh, like, um, the, 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 the factors that um, of course, explain Algeria's uh, meddling in this conflict. At the same time, this regime 
tries to distract the attention, the international community from the internal dyna dynamics in Algeria, trying to like legitimize the continuation of a, a worn-out system that is unprecedentedly uh, 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 hostile to the aspirations of the Algerian people f I mean, for democracy and social justice. The Algerian stance is in fact heavily influenced by a, a, a military mindset that considers the Polisario a vehicle to put pressure on Morocco as a, as a constructed uh, but not real enemy to Algeria. It is only a forged uh, enemy. Uh, not, of course, not to ignore the remnants of the Sahara War in the 60s between the two countries that still affect the behavior of Algeria towards the kingdom. And it goes without saying that Algeria is the main financial, logistical, and military backer of the Polisario. Uh, Algeria is the sole promoter of the separatist thesis at the international level, level uh, either in the uh, UN, uh, the EU, or the AU as well, that is the African Union. Algeria is mobilizing and they, they, it's diplomatic machinery to, to, to promote the, the, the separatist thesis at the international level. But they are also using the Polisario as a proxy player to further their interests and serve their uh, geopolitical plans in the region, as I said uh, before. With the, if we look at the, the situation now, there is a kind of mounting frustration among Sahrawis which explains the emergence of new movements and initiatives that call for the um, revisiting of the whole process that started since the, uh, the early 70s and could not uh, bear fruits for a solution that lives up to the expectation of the Sahrawis. These movements challenge the Polisario's groundless legitimacy as a, the sole representative, sole representative of Sahrawis, and it's also, I mean, these movements also lay bare the complicity between the leaders of the milita this military group and the Algerian re regime, uh, since they turn a deaf ear to the demands rising from the camps to let the voice of Sahrawis be heard. Sahrawis now want peace, they want development, they want solutions that bring to terms the divergent positions. These Sahrawis don't embrace any of the Polisario's single-minded and exclusionary uh, uh, I mean, uh, choices. The Polisario, as well as uh, Algeria, the host country, they know very well that any new lines of thought, any new approaches uh, are in fact a source of threat to the geopolitical plans of Algeria and to the Polisario's position, who is not ready to accept uh, parallel uh, processes led by Sahrawis who are uh, calling for change and seeking to break this uh, stalemate and this deadlocked situation from which the Polisario benefits a lot. So that's why we see the leaders of the Polisario becoming really ferocious towards such initiatives. Uh, they become ferocious by propagating speech of hatred, by sowing the, the seeds of violence and instability, by demonizing the dissidents, by accusing them of treason. On the other side, we see that the international community recognizes the momentum created by Morocco in the southern provinces where Sahrawi elected representatives are working hand in hand with the governmental institutions to establish a promising uh, development approach that responds to the needs of the local population and protects their right to development and 
ensures uh, better access to social and economic uh, services. Ruling at the same time, ruling out Polisario's attempts to contest this uh, these endeavors undertaken by Morocco. The example of the European, uh, the EU Court of Justice that stated clearly that the Polisario has no standing to, uh, to, to contest the partnership between Morocco and the EU uh, regarding the, uh, the uh, agreements that cover the southern provinces of Morocco. How could the Polisario stand as a legitimate representative of Sahrawis while they violate the rights of these Sahrawis, while they loot the humanitarian aids addressed to the uh, Tindouf camp's population, while they use indecent tools to perpetuate their capture in these camps for more than uh, uh, for decades allowing no room for criticism or for uh, reconsideration of what has been done uh, by the Polisario and mm, rethinking, as I said, of its uh, choices regarding the political process. This takes me to speak about the Polisario's human rights record which uh, undermines uh, the alleged leg legitimacy to speak for Sahrawis. If we look at Tindouf camps, they are introduced to the international community as traditional uh, refugee camps, while they bear the features of a zone uh, that witnesses I mean, uh, prevalent uh, lawlessness with a, a cover-up uh, provided by the Algerian government to the Polisario members who enjoy impunity and uh, seeking to keep away any um, uh, judicial oversight inside the camps, in these camps. There are secret detention centers run by the Polisario where they, uh, this military group commits uh, arbitrary detentions uh, enforced disappearances, extrajudicial killings, uh, horrible crimes that are still uninvestigated and uh, the Algerian authorities uh, impose a draconian military siege with a media blackout on the reality in these camps. Uh, Algeria's responsibility regarding the situation in Tindouf camps is evident and has been confirmed uh, by many international human rights organizations. For example, Human Rights Watch in one of its reports has stated clearly that Algeria cannot subcontract its responsibilities to the Polisario uh, and turn their back while this military group violates uh, human rights in these camps. The UN Human Rights Committee has also um, expressed its really deep concerns over what they call the de facto devolution of the jurisdictional authorities from Algeria to the to the to the Polisario, which is a, a, another factor that really uh, uh, hides away uh, the, the, the violations of human rights committed by the Polisario against the inhabitants of, of the camps. 